What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE TLC Tables, Ladders and Chairs 2020 Predictions video. Now I am filming this on Thursday before the Go Home Smackdown so I will include uh, a few rumoured matches that I don't know if they're going to happen. Uh, so we'll quickly get them out of the way. Big E versus Sami Zayn for the IC title may happen. Uh, if that was to happen, I'm going with Big E. Riddle versus Lashley, I'd be going with Riddle. Uh, Dan Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso is one that I've seen going around. I'd be going with Daniel Bryan, but none of them matches are confirmed. Oh yeah, also Street Profits versus uh, Ziggler and Rude for the SmackDown Tag Titles. I would be going with uh, the Street Profits to retain. And yeah, they are just some rumoured matches that I've seen online that haven't been confirmed. So I just wanted to get them out of the way quickly. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be watching the show live or not yet. I might have work the next day, so we will see. Uh, I haven't got that through yet, whether I am working or not. But yeah, without further ado, last pay-per-view of the year. Let's get right into the predictions. So the first matchup of TLC that I've got down is the New Day versus the Hurt Business for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Now currently the New Day are the Raw Tag Team Champions defending the titles against the Hurt Business. Ever since the Hurt Business formed I've been saying they deserve the Raw Tag Team Championships. So tonight, uh, tonight TLC is uh, when I think it's going to happen, the Hurt Business to win the Tag Team Titles. Next up, we have the Women's Tag Team Championship match. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler defending their championships against Asuka and a to-be-announced partner. I don't know who this could be. It was meant to be Lana. If it was Lana, still, I would have actually put them down to win. But because it's not Lana, uh, I'm actually going with Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler to retain. Um, I've seen people say it could be Io Shirai. I've seen people say it could be Charlotte Flair. We honestly don't know. Uh, none of them really make sense. Uh, the only one that would make sense is Kyrie Sane, but obviously she's gone. Um, so I honestly don't know who it could be, but I'm just going to put it out there and say that I think it could be Charlotte Flair. I don't know. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler to retain. Next up, we have The Fiend, Bray Wyatt taking on Randy Orton. Now, this is a match that we've been waiting for for a long time. We knew ever since The Fiend re-debuted, or ever since Bray Wyatt re-debuted as The Fiend at SummerSlam 2019 and started attacking his old rivals, we knew that Randy Orton was on that list. It was just a matter of time. And now the time has come. Randy versus Bray. They have a big history. Randy was in the Wyatt family. He burnt down Bray's like Shaq thing where Sister Abigail was. Uh, he tried to destroy Sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt is going to try and get his revenge. I have got 100% the Fiend winning. That was probably the easiest one to call on the entire card. Fiend, Bray Wyatt to beat the Viper, Randy Orton. Next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship being defended by Sasha Banks against Carmella. Now, Carmella has only just returned to SmackDown and she is red hot. No pun intended. All of her new trons, ring gear, everything is red. Uh, but I genuinely believe that Carmella is going to beat Sasha Banks, uh, but I think it might be non-title. So what I think is going to happen is maybe she wins by a count out, she wins by a disqualification. I don't really know. I honestly think that, well, spoiler for next month, but I genuinely think Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks is what they're going to do at WrestleMania, meaning I, I think Bianca's going to win the Rumble. So they're either going to hot potato, which there's not really any point in doing that, or keep the belt on Sasha Banks, but have Carmella win, just not for the title. So I'm going with Carmella to win, but not to win the championship. Next up, we have the first tables, ladders and chairs match on the card. It is for the WWE Championship. Current champion Drew McIntyre defending against the challenger AJ Styles. Now, AJ Styles won a triple threat match against Keith Lee and Riddle a couple of weeks ago on Raw to put him in this position. And I really want to see this match. Now, I think it would probably have been better if it was just a singles match to see these two go at it. There's not really a reason. Uh, like, TLC matches are normally meant to be for, like, big feuds. But, obviously... When you have a gimmick pay-per-view, such as TLC or Hell in a Cell, you have to have that match. <laughs> so, I, you know, it is a TLC match. Uh, the story hasn't really needed to be TLC, but it is a TLC match. Tables, ladders and chairs. Um, and it is Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles. What else is there to say? Um, as much as I love AJ, I don't see him getting it done. I see Drew McIntyre retaining the WWE Championship and I honestly see him holding this until Mania or beyond. We will just have to wait and see. Drew McIntyre to retain. Let's move on to the main event. 
And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have the main event, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns defending his Universal Championship against the prize fighter Kevin Owens in the second TLC match. Now, there is no doubt in my mind the two top champions in WWE are being booked so strongly recently. I don't see them dropping the titles anytime soon. That goes for Drew and it 100% goes for Roman Reigns. I do not see Kevin Owens winning the Universal Championship at TLC. Now, funnily enough, I actually, in my fantasy booking of Reigns versus Rock, I predicted the two feuds. Uh, I predicted that Reigns was going to be facing Kevin Owens, and that's actually happening, but I don't think we're getting Reigns versus Rock at Mania. Um, however, I do think we might get a big match anyway at WrestleMania for Roman, maybe uh, someone like Goldberg, uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. I don't see Kevin Owens taking the Universal Championship from him. I don't see anyone taking the Universal Championship from him anytime soon, but... Yeah, that was my TLC predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, the rumoured matches I put at the beginning of the video are not confirmed. They may be uh, by the time you guys see this video, but I'm just not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, I've been Joe from Joe's Lots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye!